Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this, um, this cardigan. I absolutely adore it. It features um, a cat pocket and I have to say I really really love this design I'm so pleased um, I'm able to share it with you so I hope you enjoy it too it's really really easy so this is um, a classic cardigan um, I did use the v-stitch um, for the uh, majority of the cardigan and then I um, added these um, pockets and um, this edging. I also added um, the beautiful sleeve cuffs and um, I did use two um, different colours and I hope you enjoy um, this project. So this is a really beginner friendly project um, to crochet so it's really easy to make. And this cardigan comes in sizes S to triple XL and the free pattern is as always on my blog selinaveronique.com. The link will be in the down bar so don't forget to check it out. I will be demonstrating size S M, but you can um, find any other size on my blog so you can follow along um, with the video if you are making a another size that's absolutely no problem. So to make this um, crochet um, kitty cat um, cardigan I used paint box yarns and I used two different colours. So I um, I used this um, light pink. I can't remember exactly the name of this um, colour. I will be writing it down in the down bar. But it is um, Paint Box Yarns, Simply Aran. So both of these um, colours are from this brand. And um, I did use, I think, six of the pink and I only used one of um, this oatmeal colour and this is shade oatmeal and it's paint box simply iron like I said it's 100% acrylic and it's a medium for yarn and it is um, yeah and it's it's 201 yards long so like I said I used for my size I think six um, pink ones and one um, beige one. I also used a 5mm crochet hook and a 4.5mm crochet hook. I also used a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle and that's all you will be needing. You could also um, add some um, pins um, some sewing pins to secure your project to sew it but I didn't use any so that's completely optional and like I said the free pattern is in um, is on my blog selinaveronique.com and um, the link is in the description box so I hope you enjoy this easy tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and comment I love to hear from you and also thank you so much for all my patrons who always support my work on patreon so just a quick shout out to you guys thank you so much so without further ado I will be jumping into the tutorial I will be using US terms with UK terms in brackets Okay, so for this tutorial, I will be showing you how to um, crochet the different parts of the cardigan before um, sewing it together and then creating the edges. So I'm going to show you how to um, make the back panel and then I'll show you how to crochet the front panels. Um, this is going to be really simple because it is the same um, stitch and the same technique for the back, the front and also the sleeves. So I'll show you how to crochet the sleeves after I show you how to crochet the back and the two front panels. I'll show you how to crochet both sleeves and again this is very simple because um, it will be the same stitch and the same technique the only thing that will change will be the number of chains that we will be chaining at the beginning 
So yes, it's going to be a really simple tutorial. So to begin this um, project, I will be showing you how to make um, the back panel like I said previously. And in this video, I will be demonstrating size S, M. If you do need another size, just consult my pattern. Um, it's very easy to crochet a different size, like I said, my, um, my project um, this cardigan goes up to size triple XL so if you need any other size just check out the pattern that is linked in the down bar so to begin you will be making a slip knot so just go ahead and create a slip knot once you've done your slip knot pop your hook through like so and now you will be chaining 66 so one two Three. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I've um, chained 14, but um, the principle will be the exact same. So just go ahead and chain 66. Once you've done that, you will be counting one, two, three, four chains from the hook and placing a double crochet into that chain. So just to make your double crochet, wrap your um, yarn around your hook, go into that chain and pull up a loop, you've got three loops on your hook, take your yarn and go through two loops, take your yarn and go through two loops and that creates a double crochet and the first chain three here at the beginning counts as a double crochet. Now you are going to be creating a v-stitch, so to create a v-stitch you will be placing another double crochet where we have just placed a double crochet. So just go ahead and place another double crochet inside that same stitch. And this creates a v-stitch, so obviously this will make more sense and look um, a lot nicer as um, we go along and create row after row but for now this is what it looks like and so this is a v-stitch so now you are going to be um, skipping one stitch or well, one chain and going into the next with another v-stitch which is two double crochets together so just go ahead and place two double crochets together inside that chain. Now skip a chain and go into the next with a, another v-stitch which is two double crochets together. Now skip a stitch and go, well not a stitch sorry, skip a chain and go into the next chain with another v-stitch and just carry this on until you reach um, the two last chains on this row and I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so this is my row for now. I have two chains left on this row and I'm going to show you what to do. So obviously your row should be a lot longer because you chained 66 or however many um, chains you did for your size. And now you have two chains left at the end of the row so you are going to be skipping one chain and going into the last one with one simple double crochet to finish off this row so place a double crochet at the end of this row and this is what it looks like so yeah I hope you are enjoying this tutorial. So this is row one and now I will be showing you row two. So for row two you will be chaining three, one, two and three. Turn your work and this counts as your first double crochet. And what you are going to be doing is very simply going into each um, v-stitch from the previous row with a v-stitch. So you have your um, chain three here and what you are going to be doing is locating your first v-stitch which is this one here and you are going to be going directly into that v-stitch here. So just wrap your yarn around your hook and go inside the v-stitch directly and create another v-stitch, so two double crochets together 
inside the v-stitch. Now go directly into the next v-stitch from the previous row with another v-stitch placed directly inside that stitch. Now go into the next v-stitch and place a v-stitch inside that and just carry this row on placing a v-stitch inside each v-stitch from the previous row and then once you reach the last v-stitch I'll show you how to finish off this row. Okay so I've placed um, all my v-stitches and now I have um, one um, stitch, well one double crochet left from the previous row and this is actually the chain three from the previous row and what we are going to be doing to finish off this row is place a double crochet inside that last um, chain three from the previous row. So just go ahead and place one last double crochet inside this um, stitch and now what you will be doing is chaining three, one, two and three, turn your work and now you will be repeating row two over and over so this counts as your first double crochet and now you are simply going to be placing V stitches inside each V stitch from the previous row And just go ahead and do that until you reach the end of this row. And so as you can see, this is going to be um, your pattern for the rest of this um, back panel. Um, so there we go, we've reached the end of the row and what we will be doing is placing a double crochet inside that last stitch at the top of the chain three and you are going to be repeating this row over and over. So for the pack panel you will be repeating this row for 41 rows and obviously this will be the same for the front panels but I will be getting to that in one second. But obviously this is for size SM, for any other side, size, sorry, just consult my pattern on my blog, like I said, and see how many rows you need for your size. But this is a very simple pattern, so just go ahead and crochet your 41 rows and then I'll show you how to make your front panels. Okay, so this is my completed um, f uh, back panel and so as you can see it looks really nice and neat and so I have my 41 rows and so once you've completed your back panel you will be crocheting your front panels and so obviously you will have two front panels. These are mine, so that's one front panel and let me just find the second one. And so for the front panel, you, you will be um, doing the exact same thing that I just showed you. So I'm not gonna demonstrate it again. I'm just gonna tell you how uh, many chains to make and then um, just rewind the video and repeat what I've just showed you. So for the front panels, you will be chaining 34 chains each. So you will be making two and so you will be chaining 34 and then once you've chained 34 you will be um, creating the same um, pattern that I've just showed you for the back panel. So just, um, you know, chain 34 and then, um, you know, repeat the V-stitch pattern that I've just showed you, i.e. Um, you know placing all your V stitches and so on and so just do that obviously twice for the both for the two front panels and then once you've done those front panels just set them aside and you can then um, crochet your sleeves and your sleeves will be um, quite large um, I like to have quite large sleeves um, on my cardigan, I just think um, for that type of oversized um, cardigan, it's just nicer. 
So yes, so for your sleeves, you'll have both. And as you can see, um, these are them. We will be, um, to create both your sleeves, you will be chaining 56, obviously, um, do this twice because there are two sleeves. Chain 56 and then repeat um, the same pattern that I showed you for the back and front panels. And you will have 24 rows total for each sleeve. Once again, all of this is written down on the written pattern that is free and available on my blog. So just click on that if you need um, just to see the written pattern as you are crocheting your cardigan. I know I really like that. I like to watch the tutorial when I'm making a project and I also like to have the written pattern in front of me just to um, be able to make it, um, just because it's easier. And so I forgot to say, but obviously the front panels, for the front panels you will have 41 rows for size S, M. Obviously you need um, your front panels to match the back panel. So don't forget to check out the number of rows you need for that. Um, but obviously it makes sense that the front panels have the same amount of rows than the back panel. So I hope this is making sense. It's really, really simple and it's really easy. Um, just go ahead and rewind the video if you need to watch um, the pattern again. But like I said, it's a really, really easy uh, one row repeat. So it's really not a complicated um, pattern. To fasten off, so I've just realized I've not showed you how to fasten off. I'll just fasten off my... Um, my um, sample just to show you. So let's imagine this is a back panel and you've crocheted your 41 rows to fasten off. You've finished your row like so and you are simply going to be snipping off your yarn and then taking your yarn with your hook and pulling it through the last loop. So you have a last loop here and to finish off this um, this um, back panel or front panel obviously just pull through and tighten gently and this is how you will be securing your project so that's how you fasten off so I hope this makes sense I hope I've gone through all the details of creating all the different parts for this cardigan and now I'm just going to show you how to sew your cardigan um, together Okay, so now that you have all the parts of your cardigan, we are going to be sewing it together, all the parts together. And so this is, I'm going to show you on camera again, I've taken photographs on my um, blog, you can check out um, if you need more help, but this is what I've done. So I've placed all, um, both front panels onto the back panel. I'm trying to show you here. Obviously, you need this to be symmetrical, but also you um, need to to place all your um, panels so that the V stitches are pointing up. So basically, this means that the V stitch that we created here is like this. Basically, you don't want it to be pointing down. You want your um, cardigan to make sense. So you want all the panels to be um, pointing in the same direction, if that makes sense. And this is um, how you obtain this. So I've placed all my V stitches um, that way pointing up so make sure you've done that before you start sewing and then just place um, your panels your front panels directly on top of the back panel and as you can see um, this is what it looks like it and it's straight across there's no um, there's no um, gap here you will be sewing it straight across so the opening will be um, created like this but this will all make sense as we go along so now what you are going to be doing I've left long tails for sewing in um, the front um, panels to the back panel but what so what you are going to be doing so um, is taking 
um, your loose end at the corner. If you don't have long tails for sewing, you can just attach your yarn here, it's the same thing. And just start um, sewing your, um, your cardigan across, so this seams straight across. If you need, um, I'm going to be using the mattress stitch, so I'll be showing you how to do that. And if you need to, place um, some sewing pins. I, I don't use sewing pins because I just sew, um, I just feel like I, I, I can sew my project across without using sewing pins. But by all means, um, I definitely encourage you to use those if um, if you need them. Obviously, it makes it actually makes the project a lot easier to sew in. <clears throat> so just go ahead and place some pins in if you need to. And for the mattress stitch, you are simply going to be um, going to try and zoom in. Okay. So how do I zoom in? Okay. There we go. And so. Um, just go in one side like this this is a mattress stitch you can use whichever stitch you prefer and go directly into the other side and then go into this side and then go into the other side and then go through this side and then through the other side and so just go ahead and sew in this um, side and I'll show you um, how to sew in the other front panel on the other side. I hope I'm making sense. Um, just let me know in the comments if you need more help about this part. I'm happy to always help you in the comment section. And yeah, just go ahead and sew this part across until you reach here and then I'll show you how to um, sew in the other um, side, the other panel. Okay, so I've gone across and sewed um, this front panel in and um, my, um, my um, piece of yarn isn't long enough to go completely across. So I am going to be using another piece of yarn to sew um, the second part in, but obviously um, this is just me. If your piece of yarn is long enough, just carry on sewing the two front panels in, just like I showed you, like so. So yeah, just go ahead and sew this part in until you reach the end of the seam, and then I'll show you how to um, carry on with your cardigan. Okay, so I've sewed in the top of this project, as you can see, and so this is how it looks. And now for the next step, we are going to be sewing in the um, the sleeves into the cardigan. However, um, to do this, we are firstly going to be setting um, this part aside and just take both your sleeves. Um, so I'm so. I'm going to demonstrate one sleeve, but obviously what I'm going to be doing, um, you will need to be doing um, on both sleeves, obviously, because there are two sleeves, that just is makes sense. So take your sleeve, like this, and um, this is what it should look like, and what you should do is um, close it like so. Okay, so you should have your sleeve um, folded over like so, and we are going to be sewing um, the sleeve in before we um, sew it into the cardigan. So I had a loose end left um, on this part, but obviously um, just attach a piece of yarn if you need to. And again, just sew this part in, sew this seam in, just once again using the mattress stitch or just using whichever stitch you prefer. That's completely up to you. And so just go ahead and sew this seam in on both sleeves. And then once you've done that, I'll get back to you to show you how to um, sew the sleeves onto the cardigan. So I'm back and I've sewed in, like I said, the top of my cardigan and I've also sewed both sleeves of 
um, the cardigan and this is what I have. I have two sleeves and um, we are going to be sewing them into the cardigan now and this is where the seam is so um, make sure that your seam is um, facing down when we um, start sewing the cardigan and what we are going to be doing is placing both sleeves on each end of the cardigan. I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So this is what it should look like. So just go ahead and do that. And for me personally, I always make sure that the side of the chains is facing outwards because I find that the chained part of um, a project is always tighter. So this is where we chained and started um, crocheting our sleeve. So this is the base chain and this side is um, where we finished and I find that it's always a bit um, wider and this part is always a bit tighter. So personally I always um, sew in this part and leave um, the chain part here because I like, um, because we are going to be um, crocheting um, a border that will tighten the sleeve even more so it just makes sense. Um, I just think it looks neater anyway, I'm just going to stop babbling because it's annoying. So yeah, so I'm gonna start sewing this sleeve in. Okay, so this is how I've placed my sleeve. Obviously on camera it's harder to show the whole cardigan, but um, yeah, this is what we have for now. And I am going to start sewing this side in. So what I do to sew in the sleeves, I usually place the sleeves like so um just so that I can start sewing it so we are going to be sewing the front part of the sleeve to the front part of the cardigan and then once we'll be reaching here so the end of the sleeve I just carry on sewing the cardigan all the way to the bottom and then what happens is that we have the back of um, the sleeve that then needs to be sewed to the back of the cardigan. So what we do then is flip it over and then sew that part in. But I will be showing you this step by step. This is just how I prefer to sew in my um, cardigans because I just think that they look a lot neater that way. Um, yeah, but this is just personal. So once again, we are going to be using the mattress stitch. So I'm just going to pop my um, needle through and then, like I said, you are simply um, sewing the front of um, the front panel to the front side of the um, sleeve. So yeah, so just go ahead and do that, sew it in, it's very simple. Um, you can use whichever stitch you prefer and then once we reach here, I'll show you how I carry on So here we go um, So I've um, sewed in the front of um, The sleeve in and as I said what I am going to be doing is just um, carrying on sewing in um, the front of the cardigan so now I'm just going to simply so the front and back um, part together until I reach um, the bottom and then once I reach the bottom I'm simply going to be fastening off um, and then I'll show you how to sew in the back of the sleeve. So I've sewed in the front of my cardigan, I fastened off and now I'm just going to flip the cardigan over and show you how to um, sew in the back of the sleeve. So as you can see, the back of the sleeve isn't sewed in and we are going to be sewing this in to the back of the cardigan. I've gone ahead and attached my um, piece of yarn and I'm simply going to be to start um, sewing this in. And what I am going to be doing is actually sewing 
um, this part in quite well because this is a part of the cardigan that will be moving a lot the sleeve if that makes sense so I've just um, sewed in the bottom corner quite well and now I'm just going to be sewing the back of the cardigan to the back of the sleeve like so and yeah I'll um I'll sew this in and then once you reach the top you will be um sewing this also um so that all the parts are sewed in and then just fasten off and make sure your stitch isn't too tight because you don't want to tighten this part just um use a loose um, kind of stitch and then just do um, the other side so so I'm back and I finished um, sewing in the whole of my cardigan I'm really pleased with how um, this looks yes so now that I've sewed in my whole cardigan this is how it looks I'm really really pleased and what we are going to be doing now is um, crocheting the bottom and the front edging so this is going to be all in one I am going to start by attaching my yarn on one side um, I'm just going to choose um, this side and then we're going to go up and we're going to go down again and then we're going to go all around the bottom back to where we started and for this part I will be using my um, my oatmeal coloured um, yarn so obviously you can use any colour yarn for this part you don't have to change colours I just wanted to change colours because I think it looks nice and I love this colour so just go ahead and attach your yarn like so and now just um, chain one okay so um, I've zoomed in and I've showed you um, where we are going to be um, crocheting so now what we are going to be doing is placing a single crochet all along the edge and this is what I call the wrong edge of the stitches meaning there are no um, stitches apparent so it's the side of the stitches so you need to um, pop um, single crochets evenly all across this edge so we've chained one we're going back in for a single crochet so pop your hook in pull up a loop you've got two loops on your hook take your yarn and pull through two loops and that's a single crochet and now just place another single crochet um, evenly across and then another single crochet and as you can see I am um, tidying up my loose end as I go along and so just go ahead and place single crochets all along the front edge okay so just carry this on all along this front edge here and all along to the top and then go down and then go all the way around here and then back to where we started and then I'll show you what to do then so just go all the way around and then I'll show you what to do okay so I've gone around the whole cardigan as you can see and I just need to um, slip stitch it here to close off this round so just go ahead and now just pull through the loop to finish off this um, edging and this is what we have and I think it's really nice so now we just need to tidy up this loose end and now I'm going to show you how to crochet your sleeves so I've already done one sleeve and I am going to show you how to do um, the second one Obviously I will show you on one sleeve and then you will be doing it on both sleeves. Okay, so for this part of the project you will be using a 4.5mm hook and that's for the sleeve cuffs. So just pop your hook through like so. Take your yarn and pull through and now attach um, 
your yarn like so, pop your hook through and now you are simply going to pull up a loop and chain one and um, you are going to be going into the next stitch with a single crochet so go directly into the stitch, pull up a loop and go through two loops and so that um, the first chain one I forgot to say is the equivalent of one single crochet so that means we already have two single crochets here and we are fastening in our loose end as we go and what we are going to be doing next is skipping one stitch and going into the next with a single crochet so just go into the next one go back into the next sti um, stitch with a single crochet skip a stitch go into the next with a single crochet and go into the next with a single crochet skip a stitch go into the next with a single crochet and go into the next with a single crochet skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet and do this all the way around placing two single crochets skipping one stitch two single crochets all the way around until you reach um, the beginning where we started and I'll show you what to do then okay so we've reached um, the begin starting point here where we are going to be slip stitching so just go ahead and slip stitch and now we are going to be repeating this row once again so chain one and go into the next stitch with a single crochet the first chain one counts as a stitch skip a stitch go into the next stitch with a single crochet go into the next stitch with a single crochet skip a stitch go into the next stitch with a single crochet and into the next stitch with a single crochet and now skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet and into the next with a single crochet and repeat this process once again until you reach the beginning starting point okay so we've reached the beginning starting point and what we are going to be doing um, so I think I still have one stitch left so there we go I'm gonna pop it in and now I'm going to slip stitch to the first chain one like this and this is this row finished and now we are going to be um, creating the next row and so um, for the next row you are going to be chaining three one two and three and this counts as a double crochet you are going to be going into the next stitch with a double crochet also and into the next stitch with a double crochet and into the next stitch with a double crochet and you are simply going to be placing double crochets all the way around until you reach the beginning so I've gone all the way around sorry this is a bit complicated because I have my whole cardigan to um to deal with whilst I'm filming so there we go I finished this round and what I am going to be doing is slip stitching like so and what we are going to be doing now is um, repeating this row so let me check how many times twice we will be repeating this row of um, double crochets twice so we will have three rows of double crochets total but we will be repeating this row twice so chain three one two and three this counts as your first double crochet and just go ahead and place a double crochet into each and every stitch until you reach the end of this round and then um, once again you will be slip stitching to the first chain three and then repeat this once again and then I'll get back to you to show you how to finish off this sleeve so just repeat um, 
this row twice more, so one and two, so that we have three rows of double crochets in total. Okay, so now we are going to be, I will be showing you how to make the cat, um, the cat pocket. So what you will be doing is creating a slip knot. We are using the 4.5 millimeter hook. Once again, pop your hook through. And now we are chaining 12. So one, two, three, okay. So now that we've chained 12, we will be counting one, two, three chains from the hook and placing a half double crochet into that. And the first chain to count is a half double crochet. So to um, create a half double crochet, you are wrapping your yarn around your hook, going into the stitch, pulling up your yarn. You have three loops on your hook. Go through all three loops with your yarn. And just place a half double crochet all the way along like so. So, okay, so I've placed a half double crochet into each and every chain along. And what I am going to be doing now is what we are going to be doing is working on the other side of this. So what we are doing is we are going to be placing another half double crochet inside this chain, the last chain here. Turn your work and what you are going to be doing is working into um, the second stitch. So I hope this makes sense. So our first supposed first stitch we've just done in the same chain and now we are working all along this edge. So just go into the next stitch and place a half double crochet into that. I am working my loose end in and place a half double crochet into each and every um, stitch across. I still have one left to pop in so just pop all your half double crochets in this stitch and this is what we should have. Okay, so now I'm going to show you round two. So for round two, you are simply going to be chaining two, one and two. And this counts as your first half double crochet. Now turn your work and you will be um, placing another half double crochet inside this same stitch. So just go ahead and place another half double crochet inside that um, stitch. So you have two half double crochets together in the first stitch. And now you are simply going to be placing a half double crochet into the next stitch and into the next until you reach, uh, so you are going to be placing a half double crochet into each um, stitch until the end of um, this side, so here. So I'll let you go up to there and then I'll show you what to do. I've reached um, the end of this um, side and I've placed a half double crochet in here and I am simply going to be placing a second half double crochet into that stitch. Now turn your project round like so and place two half double crochets in this um, side. I call it a side, you can call it whatever you wish, but you are placing two half double crochets in this and then turn your project like this once again and place two half double crochets inside this first stitch here for this side. And now just place one half double crochet on its own into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this side, which we've almost done. Okay, so I've reached the other side and once again, I'm going to be placing two half double crochets inside that same stitch. Now turn your work once again and just place two half double crochets in this um, quote unquote side. 
And now what you are going to be doing is slip stitching to close off your round like this. And this is what you should have. Okay, so now for um, round three, we are going to be, so for round three, we are going to be um, chaining two, one and two. Turn your work and you are going to be placing another half double crochet inside that same stitch. So just go ahead and place a half double crochet inside that same stitch. Now um, go ahead and place a half double crochet into the next stitch on its own. Now place two half double crochets into the next stitch. And now place one half double crochet on its own and then two half double crochets together. Okay. So now what you are going to be doing is placing one half double crochet on its own in the next 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, and just carry on for 10 stitches in total and then I'll meet you back. So once you've placed um, 10 half double crochets inside um, like so, you are going to turn your work again, place two half double crochets in the next stitch, then one half double crochet, and then two half double crochets, and then one half double crochet, and once again two half double crochets, and now you are going to be placing a half double crochet on its own in the next 10 stitches. Okay, so I've reached um, the end of this round and what I am going to be doing is, place, is slip stitching like this and this is what you should have. So now what you are going to be doing is um, chaining two, one and two, and this counts as a half double crochet. However, do not turn your work this time. And what you are going to be doing is placing a half double crochet inside that same stitch, like so. And now you are going to be placing two half double crochets once again in the next stitch, and again in the next stitch, two half double crochets together and in the next stitch and you want to have six stitches with two half double crochets together one two three four so five two together and then six two together sorry about that so just there we go so now we have two double crochets together in all these six stitches. What we are going to be doing is placing one half double crochet on its own into the next 12 stitches. So go ahead and place one half double crochet on its own into the next 12 stitches. So once you've done that into 12 um, stitches, just turn your work and place two half double crochets together into six stitches. So we've done two, three, four, five, and six like so, and now just place one half double crochet on its own into the next 12 stitches and I'll get back to you to show you the rest. Okay, so now we are going to be slip stitching in the first um, chain like so, and this is what we have. So now for round five, we are going to be chaining two, one and two, 
do not turn your work and go back in with another half double crochet and then place two half double crochets into the next stitch and place two half double crochets together in 10 stitches total so we've already done three and now just do this in 10 stitches total so now that we've placed all these um, half double crochets two together we are going to be placing one half double crochet on its own in the next 14 stitches so just go ahead and place one half double crochet on its own into the next 14 stitches okay so now we are going to be placing um one half double crochet two half double crochet sorry together into the next 10 stitches so go ahead and do that and now that we've done that we will be placing one half double crochet into um, each stitch across until the end of this round and that's 14 stitches total so just go ahead and place your 14 um, half double crochets okay so this is what we have for now and so to finish off this round you are going to be slip stitching through this um, stitch like so and fastening off so just go ahead and fasten off so um i'm back and so i've attached my yarn and so what i will be doing is um so i've attached my yarn sorry onto the top of um the cat's head and basically um you are going to attach it on this corner and you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, nineteen stitches across. So you could put a stitch marker, but basically you will be um, creating an extra row here of nineteen half double crochets. So just a measure on your cat's head, chain one, actually chain two, and that counts as your first half double crochet. So yes, measure on your cat's head um, where you need to place your 19 half double crochets so that it looks symmetrical. But just go ahead and place 19 half double crochets across. And this is what you should have. Okay, so this is what it should look like and now what you are going to be doing is chaining two, turn your work and this counts as your first half double crochet and now you are going to be placing another half double crochet in the next stitch and into the next stitch and you should have six half double crochets in total so one, two, three, four, five and six and this is what it looks like now chain one turn your work and this does not count as a stitch you will be skipping this first stitch here and going into the next with a half double crochet and into the next with a half double crochet and into the next with a half double crochet and the next and that should be four half double crochets that you have and now you will be um, chaining one turning your work and skipping this first stitch here and going into the next with a half double crochet and into the next with a half double crochet and that's one of your cat ears done so this is what it looks like and we are simply going to be snipping off our yarn and um, there we go and this is what it looks like 
And now we are going to be doing the same on the other side, another ear. And what we are going to be doing is attaching our yarn here, like so. Pull it through and attach it. And now you will be chaining two, one and two. This counts as a half double crochet. Go into the next with a half double crochet and into the next with a half double crochet. And once again, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six half double crochets in total. And now turn your work. Chain one, skip a stitch and go into the next with a half double crochet. And again into the next, and into the next, and into the next. You have four half double crochets. Chain one, turn your work, skip a stitch and go into the next, and go into the next. And this is what it looks like. You are going to be snipping off your yarn and pulling it through like so. And this is what you should have. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to show you how to um, sew in your cat pocket. So I've done one on this side, as you can see, and I'm going to show you the other side. So what I've done to place it is I've counted one, two and three um, rows on this side and then one, two, three rows on that side. And I've um, kept a long tail for sewing, but um, you can just attach a piece of yarn if you prefer. And as you can see, I'm just going to be um, going in and out and outlining um, this um, applique pocket. So make sure you don't... Um, pull through the back of the cardigan as you are sewing in. Um, you can use sewing pins of course, but I'm not going to do that because I'm used to sewing without them. So yeah, so you are just going to be going all the way around um, this pocket until you reach the other side. Um, and then I'll show you what to do. So it's really straightforward. Just make sure that you've placed it nice and symmetrical. And I'll show you what to do, um, yeah, once you've gone all the way around. So there we go. I finished sewing in um, this sleeve. Uh, not this sleeve, this pocket. Um, I forgot to film um, how I finished off um, this sleeve. So what I did, I finished sewing on this corner and then I simply fastened off and then tidied up the loose end. I did um, knot it quite well at the back here, um, just so that it wouldn't come loose. I'm really sorry I did that, but I completely forgot to film um, the end of um, this part. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.